Hannah from Fashion Justice. Welcome back to my channel. And if we haven't met before, welcome to my channel for the very first time. I'm a fashion and beauty blogger with a mission to make sure that you are your best self every single day. As you can see, my eye makeup today is quite dramatic. And this week's video is on how to get this smoky eye and how to get it like in a really easy way. A smoky eye can sound ultra intimidating to a lot of people. Yes, it's very messy and it just sounds like it's something that only the experts could do. But you know what? That is the farthest thing from the truth. You can do this. I'm gonna teach you how in a few really easy steps. All you need is the right pencil and you can also have this very dramatic look and uh, make it as dramatic as you want and you can also tone it down for daytime so stay tuned i'm going to show you how you can get this fabulous eye look the easiest way to get this look is by using the ysl cajole couture eye pencil now the reason i wanted to do this video is because i picked up the blue one and then i picked up the black one a while ago and last week I was having dinner with my girlfriend. I had asked her if she was using it as well because I had recommended it to her. And she told me that she was using it in the waterline and I realized that she was not using it correctly. This is a, a luxury brand. It's a little bit pricey. So if you are going to be purchasing this and using it, I wanna make sure that you are using it the right way. So this is what the YSL Cajole Couture Pencil looks like. It does not require any sharpening, so it makes it really easy to use. So you can see the, this is the black one and this is the newer one, so it's a little bit sharper. And then this is the blue one and I mix these two together for a really beautiful smoky eye look. So the fact that it doesn't require sharpening, it does not have a pointy uh, edge, it's more slanted and the way you're supposed to use it is on a slant you are not supposed to use these like a regular liner where you just sort of put it in like that and put it in the waterline now you can use these for the waterline it obviously doesn't hurt but that's not the purpose the intent of this pencil is really to create that smoky smudgy look and that's exactly what this pencil does it's not supposed to be perfect. It's just supposed to be a little messy and really smudgy. So the way you would use it is first of all, put in your favorite waterline eye, eyeliner. And I just recently did a video on that last week, so you can check that out. So once you've put in your waterline, take your YSL Couture Kajal and just get used to using it on a slant. So it's so easy. The way you apply it is you just sort of start to play with it underneath like that. And as you can see, you just need to hold it like this and then lift it up and then just start putting it on top of your eyelid as well. And then you just keep smudging. Smudging is the key. And just pretend that you're doing like some crazy water finger painting exercise. It's going to look really messy, but just keep at it. Keep smudging on top, keep smudging on the bottom, and then keep layering it. So once you've done it once, do it a second time and a third time to achieve the, the amount of drama that you really want for your smoky eye. It's, so once you've achieved the amount of pigment that you would like, the other thing is you're going to start to see that you might have some fallout underneath your eye area. And then what you want to do is take your favorite concealer and just dab it underneath here. Also dab it up here so that you end up creating a really perfect high, um, high line, which lifts your eye because as you're sort of smudging it this is going to get a little bit outside your line here and so your concealer goes underneath here around here to give you that definition and also between your eye and your nose so that you don't have a, you don't look like you're just all black everywhere you want it to look really dark around here but then really bright all around it and that's what gives you this beautiful dramatic eye 
So once you've smudged it and then cleaned it up, the last and final step is to apply loads and loads of mascara because, or false lashes. Lashes are so important because you wanna be able to balance out your look. So if you're gonna have a really dramatic smoky eye, the lashes really need to lift you up, lift up your eyes because the darkness will otherwise kind of weigh down the look a little bit and you wanna make sure that your face looks um, bright and alive at all times. So this is how I achieve my smoky eye look. It's really easy. Anybody can do it. I am not a makeup professional and I'm willing to bet, nor are you, but you certainly still wanna have a look that looks like it's been professionally applied. I do hope you enjoyed this video and learned a thing or two about a smoky eye. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. I will be happy to help you with your smoky eye look. Also, if you enjoyed this video, I hope you would consider giving it a two thumbs up. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel so I can see you here next week for more amazing fun tips and tricks on how to make sure that you can be your most fabulous self every single day. If you love fashion and beauty, I hope you will consider following my Instagram account, lawyerpina147, where I post many of my daily outfits every day because I am a style fanatic, and my second Instagram account, Glam by Pina, where I inspire you every day to get a tad bit glamier. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you here next week. Mwah.